When the AV Club travels, we always make time to visit pop culture landmarks. If something memorable happened in the world of film, TV, books, or music, we want to go there. We're not just tourists, we're pop pilgrims. Wes Anderson's 2001 film Royal Tenenbaums opens with this line. Royal Tenenbaum bought the house on Archer Avenue in the winter of his 35th year. Now, Archer Avenue doesn't exist, but this house at 144th Street and Convent Avenue in Harlem does exist. Though Anderson originally wanted to create his exaggerated alternate universe version of New York entirely on a soundstage, he found the perfect location for exteriors and most interiors here. Anderson rented the house, which was unoccupied at the time, for six months and transformed it into a palace whose faded glory reflected its inhabitants. Wes really liked the idea of creating a fictional New York. And we found this house actually in a kind of random way. We went on a number of scouts, like he wanted a townhouse or a brownstone. We did a day in Brooklyn Heights, we did a day in Park Slope, and I think this was like the third day where we were doing Harlem. And as soon as we started driving up the block, um, kind of Wes looked out the window and I looked out the window, and there was a friend of Wes's, a music producer who was in the car with us as well, and all three of us at the same time were like, whoa, 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 whoa. It was at this house. And he's like, this is the house. He knew immediately. As soon as Wes got into the house, he had the whole concept of, you know, the three children with the three levels. It's fascinating to me that the house first, then the script. He wants to have a lot of the things in mind as he's writing. So he's kind of like accumulating a lot of things that inspire him. It was against the law. This alternate dimension New right. York. Right. Can you talk more about that? You know, I think a big inspiration for Wes was like growing up in Texas and reading The New Yorker, or, you know, all kinds of amazing stories set in New York, and he knew them through print, you know, and, and, and so he had in his mind created this whole New York, but it wasn't exactly New York. First day of shooting with Gene Hackman, um, we were down at uh, Battery Park City, freezing cold and Wes positions Kumar directly to block the Statue of Liberty. And Gene Hackman <laughs> was like, I don't understand why are we down here if not to be with the Statue of Liberty? And Wes was like, well, because, you know, it kind of feels like New York, but if we had the Statue of Liberty, then you would know where you are. And I want to evoke New York, but I don't want to, anybody to know exactly where we are at any given point. Um, and I think this house goes a long ways towards that, where Wes felt like it kind of feels like New York, but you don't really, see it every day, you know, it's not in a part of Manhattan that's, there's not a lot of tourists coming up to 144th Street, and it's kind of a little bit out of the way, and it's a residential area, and it's actually very accessible by subway, but it's just kind of hidden in plain sight. Yeah.